beers are filled. The margaritas are ready to be killed. Someone's mom is ready to be filled. <laughs> I mean, I love spring break! Man! It's the best time uh, of year. It doesn't get better than this. I mean, and school's out, the boobs are popping. They're flowing. And let me tell you, this is it. This is pinnacle life. I just don't see how it gets any better. It, it doesn't get better. And let me tell you, you know what just enrages me? Is the fact that there's all these girl essential TikToks on how to get ready for spring break. They never talk about the men. It's ridiculous, dude. It's just classic sexism. It in, is. In the workplace. They always worry about Barbie, never about Ken. What are, you, what are you, some of yours? I know what mine are. My essentials? I'm mean, curious what some of yours are. In the age of inflation, right, the last thing people want to see is a small package because you're going to be in the water. You're coming out with your swimsuit, and we know there's shrinkage. Well, lucky for me, I packed that penis pump. Three pumps, you're good to go. Look left and right, girls think you're packing like fucking Johnny Sins, bro. See, you know what that's great for someone, especially like me, because you know I'm a, I'm a grower. You know I'm not you're no a, shower. You're a grower. You saw me over the urinal. You peeked the other day. You saw. I, I didn't look, but I looked. Um, anyways, place. that was kind of weird. Yeah. Anyways, uh, so one of my, this is what my biggest one probably is, I head out to Miami a week before the spring break start. I just go out there. Yeah. I buy all in store and online all of Sunbum's tanning oil because every single girl is going to Miami to get tan. Think about all the girls who go to Alabama, who go to TCU. They're not getting the sunshine. They're not all the getting time. it, no. So if any hot girl in Miami is out there for spring break and they want to get tan, they got to go through me. Think of me. Me? You can look at me as the tanning oil pimp of Miami. Wow. That's fucking smart. Two that's steps what I do, ahead. Bro. That's what I do. You might be four steps ahead of the competition I'm, with that I'm one. Just try it. All right, bro. all right. So we're talking a lot about the body here, right? People don't talk about the finances behind spring break. All right? They don't talk about it. Think about it. High roller, big spender, black cards. Everyone loves the Amex black oh, card. Oh yeah. All right. But what better way to have than having one Amex black card? I've got 65. What I'll do is I'll commit credit fraud repeatedly, get 65 of these things, and just drop them on the club floor so they know, hey. He's the guy. Yep. You can kind of call me the Iron Man of credit cards. Man, you're like it's almost like you're like a magnet of some 65. The, the Miami wow. magnet. Wow. Oh, the MM. MM. See, that could be your Iron Man. I might get that tatted when I'm off fucking like ketamine or something. Yeah. That'd be good. It's funny because. One second, your, your, your lotion's coming uh -huh. up. Thank All you, right. bro. Yeah, I can't let That's like, huge, yeah. man. Yeah. So, speaking of finances, I do something similar with the banking system. Yeah. So what I do is I go on the I go on the deep web and there's a guy on there who sells low income households banking information. Basically nice. people that make under thirty thousand dollars a year. Yeah. Who are living on food stamps, all this and that. And they'll sell their banking information. So what I do is I take their banking information and then I steal it and then I can put my card down for dinner. And what I do is I put the card down, I'm like, girls. Let's get out of here. They know me, and I just, I, I kind of just flee the scene so it, so it can't get the client. Dude, fucking props to you, man. That's fucking amazing. Thank you, bro. I appreciate it. God, I mean, that's, I might need to get on that because right now, I just can't do the credit fraud anymore. It's really, it's, 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 a, it's a taxing thing. It's I mean, a hard industry to break into. And, and you know, I mean, my last year, my, my girl went to Miami. Um, and, um. She's not your girl anymore, bro. No, I know. So that's why I'm leveling up my fucking game this year, all right? I love it. I love it. what I'm doing, right? I'm hiring a social media manager, right? Because we know cheating is very prevalent on spring break. Huge. Right? The last thing you want to be is caught cheating on the gram on spring break. So here's what I'm doing. I'm hiring a social media manager to act like, take care of my Instagram, right? Take pictures of me in Napa with my family in wineries. So she's thinking I'm having a family wholesome spring break. Meanwhile, I'm balls deep in a Puerto Rican off 15 margaritas. Oh. If that is the level you need to get to, my friend. Man, Puerto Rican too. You were always into the uh, Latinas like that. Yeah, man. man. Ah, I know you're into men too, so it's like a very good. Evening. I can I can swing both ways. I can suck on a male's tongue. I can suck on a woman's tongue. You'll either just, one. It's whatever's looking yeah. good in the moment. You yep. know? I yeah, I live in the moment. Spring you know break. That's what I do. No rules when you're on spring break. No rules when you're on spring break. Speaking of no rules. Yeah. When you're in Miami, you know there's no rules. Yeah. When I go to Miami, like I said, I get there a week before everyone gets there. Yep. I know a guy out there who sells rupees since he knows me. I'm a, I'm a regular customer with this man. Okay. He will sell me rupees, buy one, get two free. So I just have like pretty much an unlimited sack of rupees, right? It's not what you think. It's not what you think. Not on like some Bill Cosby shit. More like some R. Kelly type shit. You oh, know that's what I mean? chill. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Chill. So it's like that's way different. Chill, yeah. So I just cruise around the beach. 
I'll be like, oh, what's up? What's your name? Oh, is that a white car? Yeah, I'll take a sip, take a sip. And I go, yeah, so boom, pop it in there. By the time I'm done, the whole beach is knocked the fuck out. They're knocked out on their ass. And then I just walk around. Think of me as the Ted Bundy of forehead kisses. I'm a serial forehead kisser. I walk around and I go, oh, hello, back of the head. Men, women, children, I don't give a fuck. I will kiss the them kids? on the goddamn forehead. Yes, I will. My therapist says it's something with the childhood trauma. I've never been loved before. But what, honestly, though, what is that therapist now? Yeah, what, what kind of degree are they getting? Like, you know what I mean? It's like bullshit. Man. Like tapestry or something. Yeah, what? It's bullshit, Degree. Bro. Obviously, bro. God. Dude, what time is it right now, bro? What, you gotta be somewhere? Yeah, I got a, um, I got the fitting for the penis pump. With Dr. Wow. P- Dr. Pumsky. Are you pumped or what? Are yeah. you pumped for the pump? I'm a little nervous. I would be. Uh, I, yeah, it's a big deal. What are you? What are you doing in the next like 45 minutes? Oh, I'm not. I'm not doing shit. Nothing. You need a second hand. Nothing at all. You need some help. He says I need someone to cup the balls while we put the penis pump to size it. Bro, can you, you know? You know. I, sorry, I cut you off. What were you saying? Let's get the fuck out of here and go do this thing. Ah. Let's go, man. Let's go do it. I would love to be the soft white hands. For oh, the beautiful man. Pink I'm excited. You're just going to cup it nice and soft. 